Today we're going to talk about Bell's Palsy. Bell's Palsy is a temporary paralysis of the face. It is usually on one side. When the seventh cranial nerve is disrupted, the brain is unable to send messages to the facial muscles. The exact cause of Bell's palsy is unknown, but it can occur at any age. Inflammation and swelling of the nerves that control the muscles on the patient's face are thought to be a possible cause. Viral infections may also be a cause of this condition. While Bell's palsy is usually self-limiting and temporary, some patients may continue to show signs and symptoms for the rest of their life. Usually signs and symptoms resolve within a few weeks and will rarely recur. It is possible for Bell's palsy to affect both sides of face, although this is a very rare occurrence. Signs and symptoms could be drooling, headache, decreased taste sensation, altered tears and saliva, mild facial weakness, facial droop, difficulty swallowing or closing eyes, and pain behind the ear or jaw on the affected side. The following complications may occur, permanent damage to the facial nerve, possible blindness, and permanent contraction of the facial muscles. Diagnosis is actually made by patient presentation, but the healthcare provider also has to rule out strokes, tumors, infections, and even possibly Lyme disease. An EMG or CT or MRI may be done. Treatments will include antiviral medications, corticosteroids, pain medications, eye care, physical therapy, and possibly surgery. This is Nurse Anna signing off. Please visit us at nursestudy.net for more in-depth information on Bell's palsy and other pathological diseases. Mm -hmm.